I'm so excited because it's dry. I had to wait overnight and when I got up this morning it still was a little bit tacky so I've left it. Anyway, I have actually taken it off the bowl because it was really crusty. I didn't want to film that but this will just let you see my embroidered bowl that was made using soluble fabric has maintained its structure after having been draped over this ceramic bowl so I'm really pleased with that. I think it's a shame that I left the mesh in because it's lost some delicacy and I should have just been more confident but it's years since I've made one of these and I just wasn't quite sure that I was going to get it all held together with the stitches and I think it would have done. I double double checked, I did a grid formation with the stitches so I think it would have held without the mesh but this is just trial and error and this is just gaining my confidence. I can also really clearly see this variegated thread that's quite thick. When I first started I was using that and I love the variegated threads because you get little glimmers of purples and blues and pinks. I think that would have worked really well over the whole design but it was possibly a little bit too thick and the thread kept breaking in the machine. I did oil it overnight just to double check that that was all that the problem was but I ended up using some thinner, fab uh, thinner thread and I thought that I was going to be able to disguise these because I couldn't remove this thread. When you have the water soluble fabric it's like plastic and I was so careful to try and remove the stitches it was really difficult. I was starting to cut the fabric so I, I stopped and this hasn't been disguised as I thought it would have been. A solution is possibly to add beads that might work. I'll possibly give that a go but Overall, I'm quite pleased with how everything's worked out. Funnily enough, I can still see a couple of nibbles on this turquoise organza. I think because I kept the box of fabric in my outhouse, the mice probably got in during the winter and nibbled some pieces to take to the nest. So I'm hoping that they were really comfy and that they appreciated it. It hasn't made too much of a... <laughs> problem with my my sewing uh, but anyway I think that's quite interesting and I quite like this frilly edge that's worked well I'm maybe going to trim the mesh a little bit because I've left some bits around the edge which I'm not keen on so I can just trim that but overall it's quite an interesting design quite easy it was lovely doing it on such a cold wet day so that kept me busy and hopefully this has given you some ideas to have a go yourself. Thanks for watching.